Hi, I'm Taylor. Today, I'm going to be cleaning up a bunch of really filthy tanks that I got off of a, uh, a local fish store. Uh, this fish store, store was downsizing their little fish department, and I got ten, no, five ten-gallon tanks off of them. And they were pretty dirty, but they came with like the tanks and the, the heaters and the filters and the, the lights and the hoods, and it was a pretty good deal. So I took them, and now I'm going to try to clean them. Here are the tanks in question. They're not bad at all, but they have a lot of hard water stains on them. They have a lot of sticky tape. This one here it needs, some, it needs some new silicone, which I'm going to do. I ended up taking all of the gravel out. It was pretty gross. I washed it out pretty nicely and bagged it up. I'm going to put that on Craigslist because I don't want it. I just wanted these nice tanks. After some cleanup to get all the really nice hard water off, I think they're going to be nice. We have really hard water here. It's like liquid rock. They're pretty crusty. Hey, first things first, I'm going to clean out all the debris out of these tanks. There's still a bunch of gravel left in them. And then I'm going to get rid of that. I don't like the unnatural uh, gravel colors. You know, some people love them, that's fine. Some people like bright, colorful gravel. But I'm not a fan, I just like more natural looking tanks. Where's my scrubby? There's my scrubby. Okay, there's one. And so I'll repeat this five times. Or four more times. Next up is trying to remove a bunch of the stuff that's stuck onto the aquariums just by hand. Like, I'll see if I can get rid of a bunch of the crust, the hard water crust. Um, there's a lot of tape and old stickers and just stuff that I think I can remove a lot by hand. I just use this little glass blade. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, you can see. That's all hard water. It's pretty thick, too. Out of all the tanks I got from the pet store, this one is definitely the oldest. It has the most hard water stain on it, and then the silicone needs to be redone. But I am going to go ahead and try a method to fix all the hard water stains. And I was watching a King of DIY video where he used Barkeeper's Friend. Uh, the baby, my baby is running into my tripod and moving it. Can you not do that? Okay, so I'm going to try to do Barkeeper's Friend on it and see how that works. I know some people use vinegar on their hard water stains, but Barkeeper's Friend is a lot more powerful and I think I'm going to need uh, a big boy, big boy chemical. I'm going to follow the instructions on the bottle to get the bottom kind of damp. I'm going to put on the housewife gloves. Don't want this stuff on my hands. See how it worked. Ah. Ah. I need no 
No. Don't mess with the tripod. No. No tripods. No tripods. Don't you do it. No. No. Are you mad now? Mad me? Oh, the worst mommy. Worst mommy ever. pass on it though because there's still some hard water stains but it's like one third of the amount that was on there before. Yeah there's some really heavy spots that I'm still gonna have to hit. So I am going to do that process all over again and then I'm also going to do that on the remaining four tanks and hopefully I just have four nice pretty clean tanks to put in my fish room. Look how nice and sparkly clean these are. They look great! Way better than they were before. Uh, even the super old nasty one is better, but it still has a lot of gunk on it. I think I'm actually going to have to polish the glass on this one. I just don't know what that stuff is. But, success for these other four. Very nice and clean. That was a good test of Barkeeper's Friend. It worked pretty well. It worked better than vinegar would have worked. So I'm glad I tried it. I can't wait to put them in my fish room, which I think I'll share in its own video someday. Um, my fish room is actually tiny. It's a tiny, tiny converted bathroom, a spare bathroom of ours. And I turned it into like my storage slash project room and I love it and I can't wait to share it when I feel ready. When I feel ready, when it's nice and clean, that's when I'll share it. So stick around if you'd like to see my fish someday. Later.